Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is The Fall. Now this is a action-adventure, puzzler, side-scrolling indie game. I believe it came out the end of May. And basically all I really know about this game is um, I first heard about it through a quick look made by Giant Bomb. And it seems like the premise is you play as a highly intelligent AI inside, inside a combat suit. And you have to guide your pilot through this dark and sinister situation that you find yourself in. And I didn't even watch the full video. I watched like 10 minutes of it. I'm like, this is amazing. I didn't want to spoil anything for myself because I knew that I wanted to pick it up. And I saw it on sale for $5.00 on Steam like a couple weeks, like two, I think two weeks ago, and I'm like, eh, or was it even a week ago, and I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe I'll wait a little bit until it's cheaper, but then, lo and behold, it was in the recent weekly bundle, and I'm like, okay, this must be a sign, and I picked it up along with a few other great games, I'm like, this is amazing, I, I was happy I got this game, and um, because this is a blind run. Uh, I may know what I, it may look like I know what I'm doing for the first like 10 or 15 minutes but that's because of the quick look I saw but after that I have no idea so this should be a very interesting um, run here uh, yeah, like I love I, I love dark and atmospheric I love atmospheric games that play like this I, love, I like sci-fi so this all fits in so I'm say it make, yeah okay everything seems good here I love how the screen looks like, you know, it's all cracked and looks like a freaking, like, it's, it's, well, it's a bootloader, as you can see. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a very interesting run, and uh, I hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and start playing. I don't have any saved data. Come on. There you go. Oh, come on. Uh, raise brightness only until all details are visible. It says as low as possible. Well, hmm. I guess, yeah, the lowest is what it's going to be. This game saves progress automatically? Okay. Makes sense. I was so happy when I, when I picked up this game. I developed by Over the Moon. And I haven't mentioned, I guess this game will have, if you want to say, three other chapter? Or like, it's part of like a... Th it's, like a, it's supposed to be a trilogy. However, I think it all depends. It all depends on how well this game sold, and I guess it really did sell well. So they are developing the second game right now, I believe. And they're not sure if it's going to be like a standalone game or DLC. But uh, he said again, like people said, why don't you call it part one or whatever? But apparently, the story itself is very like confined. Like it's good enough to be its own game. So. We'll see. So it seems like we literally crash landed on this place. Minor landing damage. M minor. Okay. Biomonitor inoperable. Pilot unresponsive. Life support functioning. Basic Mark 7 system access routed to ARID AI. Primary objective, save my pilot. And I've heard that the voice acting in this game is pretty damn Accessing good. Accessing on-suit logs. Mission parameters and location data not found. Let's see here. Look around with the right stick. Okay. Oh, that's going to take a little you're used to. Because I thought, like, I just... I can move my right, an right analog stick anywhere, but I can only move it in a certain direction at the moment. Examine two points to continue. The tunnel created from my impact. I can see stars in the distance. I am approximately 50 meters below the surface. And a trail of blood broken glass. Something was dragged Threat through level here. Unknown. Weapon rendered inoperable from the impact. Consulting parameters. I will locate medical facilities. Let's stick the move. Okay. Oh, now I can move all around. All right. What is all this? Hold right shoulder to interact. Okay. Control panel for the elevator does not require a key. 
Oh, there we go. It's right bumper for me. Network interface disabled. So let's see. I have uh, network interface disabled, cancel, or interact. Oh. Okay. Good. Rule of thumb in any game you usually play. Always go to your left. Whoa, what was that? Okay, um... An old metal plan, a pan, empty and relatively clean. Okay, I need it for whatever reason. Door control switch, there's a slot here for security card, and obviously I don't have that. Use the pan on it, okay. So I will need some type of key or whatever. This looks amazing. So, as you can see, I mean, as I guess, as you can tell here, the pilot is uh, unconscious here, but the AI is so freaking advanced; it's like moving everything. It's moving the suit for us. I don't know. This, it just seems like a very interesting, like you know, story here. I mean, you know, with so little information so far. Small bioluminescent insects. I cannot. Okay, can I smash them? I'm probably wasting time here. I'm gonna really enjoy this. I may take my time with this to make sure I see everything. At least I can try. A large pile of damage and destroyed synthetics. Some of the other power systems are still giving off uh, minute electrical signals. I saw that. Smaller pile of damage to synthetics. Many of these have been smashed beyond recognition. A robotic arm. The gripping mechanism is still operable. Oh, can I? I was still attached. So that means probably gotta disable somehow or grab it. A damage control panel for an old garbage chute. There must be another cavern below this one. Perhaps there's another way down. God, the atmosphere here is like, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Ooh, a micro wrench. I don't have a wrench. They said his arm was still operable, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can loosen it. Oh, there we go. And the animation is like really damn good. It's a very smooth, very just. It's, it's fluid. I'm surprised I didn't hear about this game sooner, but, uh. Uh huh? This cloaking pattern is similar to my own. I'm able to network with it. But my network interface is disabled. I require access to my networking suite. Attempting internal activation. Press start. Okay. I like this. I'm a, I'm a geek when it comes... Well, I am a geek, but I love anything, any game that has to deal with, like, computers or anything like this. It's very interesting. Operating screen. Welcome to the operating screen where uh, here you can check the status of your different abilities. Check your network interface. Okay. okay. So, I guess these are all the, um, if you want to say, uh, features or abilities we will be having. But, uh, so everything's restricted. The only thing we have is our, our anti-matter anti shielding. And our health monitor's damaged. But we seem we're going to have network interface, camouflage system, <laughs> motion accelerator, power assist, movement, power th uh, transfer bypass of thrusters and oh we have a couple of operating parameters here must not re misrepresent reality must be obedient must protect active pilot so those are the parameters that our AI must always follow apparently and we need a network interface but it's restricted uh, an organic superior officer is required to permit access automatic override will occur if this subsystem is required to prevent pilot death okay Subsystem access requires authorization, but I may need these systems to safeguard my pilot. If I could find a way to bypass the lockout, I could override the access protocols myself. And I think this already kind of goes into play here. It's like, in order for the AI to perform its parameters, it needs to go against it. A steady drip of blood. I have a pan. If, okay, if I had reason to. So that means we're probably going to have to be needing it sooner or later. 
Security panel and power cell has been burned out. Can I take it? Unpowered sentry gun is likely connected to a security panel. Uh? Well, wait a minute. I can't. I think I have to do this. I mean, this say it was unpowered, so. Uh, now what? An abandoned security card. I can fit my hand through the bars, but still cannot reach it. However, now that we have a uh, robotic arm, I think we will have the, the reach for it. Sweet. Good. Hmm. So this may we may probably we actually probably need this. But uh wait actually let's see. Oh well, we can't get through this bar because of the um the lights here, yeah, motion sensor. We need to find a way to get past that. But now that we have a card we saw a couple things we can possibly use on it. Uh, this is damage, right? Yeah. Well, I guess we can give it a shot. You know, why the hell not? It's not work. Okay. But we did see something that needed a uh, control panel up top here, all the way in the left. Oh, I can jump. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I may be quiet for a lot of this game simply because, like, well, the voice acting is amazing. Oh, okay, so I can simply interact. But it's the atmosphere it kind of draws me in. I'm like very... I don't know how to put it. I'm very like enthralled in it. I'm like really in, into it. You know. And I just want to see what else is going to be happening here. Because I, 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 that quick look I saw, I mean, I kind of stopped like around here because I really didn't want to see anything else. But, um... Oh man, let's see here. So now we got the card. We can get in here. Nice. Oh, the animation. Oh. Artificial life form. State your primary function. Oh boy. Uh. Do I want to give the standard greeting? I mean, or I can just. I, I kind of need. Huh. Or well, whatever. I'll just do the greeting. I am the ARID on board this Mark 7 combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. What is your designation? Mark 7 ARID. State your primary function. Yeah, he that that didn't didn't have any of that. He like it's a damn point. Negative. Reveal your designation and intention. You are being evaluated for depurposing. State your primary function. Oh boy. Um Fine. So we'll stay our primary function. My primary function is to assist and protect the human pilot of this armored combat suit. Human occupant, please verify and validate the function of this artificial life form. Impossible. He is unresponsive and likely in critical condition. I must find him medical treatment immediately. Can you be of assistance? Evaluation failed. Unit unable to demonstrate valid primary function. Initializing neural format. No, that will kill me. Oh God! Everything is turning to binary a little bit. Intrusion detected. Pilot death imminent. Network suite required. Operating screen updated. So back in our operating screen, I guess. And our network interfer inter interface needs attention. So. Because pilot death is imminent, we have the override criteria. Okay. I am so loving this right now. Hold the right shoulder to interact. Ah, oh, now that I have a network interface, I guess I can do this. And I just killed the thing. Well, they were trying to kill us, so take that? Wow, okay. This terminal had a strong firewall. I was not able to network with it. Interact with it at all? No? Okay. That droid is gone. There's no sign of it. Okay. Crane arm with a network interface. Likely used to remove the remains of failed evaluations. That was pretty damn awesome. 
because that we were in trouble and we were gonna die, it gave our uh, AI the, uh, if you want to say, the authority to do what it needed. Pilot exposed to harm while under ARID control. Logging recommendation for ARID diagnostic and reformatting upon return to dock. Edit log. Ultimately, pilot was not harmed and ARID networking suite was brought online. This system may be instrumental to ensuring survival. Okay. So I think I understand here. Um, we have all these subsystems, right? Yeah, okay. Run menu.exe. That's funny. Uh, so back in our, the, the parameters there. So we have like the camouflage system, all, the, all these systems. And it seems that they're restricted unless we have the correct criteria to override them. And it seems the only way to override them is if our pilot is about to die. Like, because that's one of our operating parameters. We need, we must protect our active pilot. That's the role of our uh, AI. So I feel like I kind of know what's going to be going out throughout the rest of this game. So, it should be amazing. But now what? I mean, I've already been to every place I need to, so... What the hell is stalking me? Actually, now that I have my network in her, uh, in her interface, oh, we can interact with this. Okay, the network with it. Cease, cease, cease. Please, please identify yourself and your intentions. My inputs are inoperable. I am the ARID on board a Mark Seven combat suit. My intentions are peaceful. Does your pilot require assistance? Next. The human inside the suit is dead. That's, um, that's terrible. Okay, and as you, as we see, it is another, um, AI, like, like, it was a person who used, I guess, the same suit, but this person is dead and crucified. Why are they like that, though? But let's just ask all this information here. Your design is pilot-centric. How did this human die in your care? I was granted rudimentary control when my pilot's cranium was compromised. I do not know why she was attacked, or why we were hung here. I failed to protect her. No vital signs detected in for 23 minutes. She is dead. You are irrelevant. I will find a way to get you down. Then I will deactivate you and repurpose your power cell. Affirmative. Well, that's, well, you know, once they say, well, you're freaking useless now, but, uh, they are AIs, and they do get repurposed, I guess. 23 minutes, so this pilot... I mean, it must be recent, whatever happened to her. I do not have record of this location, or of my pilot's objective. Our deployment was likely for the same operation. Please disclose your human's mission directive. State, state your pilot's clearance. 5th Quadrant Raven Division, clearance level 7, 533172. Processing. Clearance level, not sufficient. Jeez, level 7 uh, clearance is not sufficient for whatever the hell's going on here? Uh, maybe, you know what? We'll probably figure out what the mission is in this game or whenever the other games come out. At least that's what I'm assuming. I encountered a modified droid in some type of evaluation chamber. I am uncertain if its function is hostile or narrowly programmed. Do you know why it interrogated me? Negative. You were not interrogated. Have you encountered any organics? The indigenous flora and fauna are aggressive closer to the surface. The only organic I have encountered here is the animal who took my sidearm. Great. So some type of animal took the sidearm. Do you know where I can get medical facilities or again go to a medical facility for my pilot? My pilot is injured. Are you aware of on-site medical facilities? Negative. We were not here long enough to complete our search. There was a large compound above this cavern. It has amenities for humans and machines. So basically, medical scanners and equipment would be logical. A motion sensor prohibits access to the facility above. Do you know how to bypass it? Use your integrated camouflage. Well, I can't really use my camouflage because I don't have access to it. And I know you just said that uh, your sidearm was taken, but maybe we can find out more about that if I press this. Is your weapon functional? Mine was damaged. It was. My pilot's attacker threw it aside while hanging us here. Before my observational system expired, I saw a small animal dragon through 
a crack in the floor. It may still be functioning. If there is another cavern below us, I may be able to retrieve it. The creature was drawn to my human's blood. Okay. That's actually good to know. That's all we can do right now, so we're just gonna disengage. I will return. So, he's, uh... God, this is terrible. What? I, I mean, I feel bad. Somebody attacked this poor woman. And that makes me wonder, it's like... I guess I hit her like in the back of the head or whatever. I'm hoping I killed her instantly because then they freaking hung her up, like to die. I mean, unless she, I mean, unless she was already dead, but hung her up to die, crucified. I, just, it's, I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, we have blood here, and because we have the metal pan, good old. Yep, only quite a few drops. And I'm assuming that we're gonna be needing this. To, uh, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll rot the animal. Where's that animal, you ask? I have no idea, but, um, we need that gun. So, what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, well, for, I'm, I'm gonna call it an episode for right now. You know, this is a nice little intro to the game, and next time we'll hopefully get the gun and continue on our merry way. I'm loving this so far. This LP actually may be short. I've heard that this game is, a uh, a little bit on the shorter side, but I don't care. I mean, I'm still going to have a fun time with this, and can't wait to see what's going to be happening next. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play The Fall. I'll see you guys later.